dot plots, frequency distribution tables, and histograms. When you have one variable data that is continuous, which means that your data could be any real number that would be graphed on a number line, then you can represent your data with a dot plot, frequency distribution table, or histogram. With a dot plot, you're going to draw a number line and then simply place dots above the number line wherever the data falls. For example, let's look at a data set that describes the heights of plants that students are growing for a science project. To draw the dot plot, I would start with the number line and then add the points. For the frequency distribution table, I'm going to start by taking the data and grouping it into data ranges, which are also called bins. For example, if I take the data that I used earlier that gave us plant heights, I could then group the data in ranges from 0 to 1 centimeter, 1 to 2 centimeters, 2 to 3 centimeters, 3 to 4 centimeters, and 4 to 5 centimeters. Make sure that these ranges go in the left column of your table. Then, on the right side of the table, I would count the frequency which is the number of times data in that range appeared in my data set. Make sure that if you have a number like 2.0 that it goes in the bin labeled 2 to 3 centimeters. For the histogram, we are just going to take the data from our frequency distribution table and graph it. Histograms are like bar graphs, except in a bar graph the data is categorical, so the bars do not touch. In a histogram, the data is continuous, so the bars will touch. The x-axis of a histogram can be labeled like a number line to match the bin widths from the frequency distribution table, and the y-axis will be the frequency. To graph the data, you just draw bars that display the correct frequency for each data range.